Glasses would be helpful. We're live, or we're going live. The little wheel is spinning. Oh, look, I can see now. Okay, we don't have a picture yet, but it says excellent connection. There we are. <coughs> we have a picture. We are live. Good morning, friends. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How Today's is everyone? music is from Murder on the Orient Express. Oh. Oh. I hope it's not going to be too. I kind of skimmed through it, and it seemed pretty. So I'm trying to find music tame. that is okay. Kind of tame. Yeah. We don't have anybody here yet. There's nobody here. We're talking to ourselves. It says nobody's here. Nobody wait, 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 wait. Brandy Nobody B loves is Michael here. Michael Jackson for Michael Jackson. Drayden's World. O M G M J. I'm drawing him too. Nice. Um, Silver X is here. Royally Crazy. Sweet and Breezy. Hello, Bethany's hello. here. Telman's here. Chaotic's here. Siraj is here. Hi. Hello. I'm a clinically depressed depressed bisexual says hi <laughs> <laughs> oh god your name is funny that's funny um i think i'm gonna flip this picture oh gosh my favorite artist from the 80s marguerite's here from british columbia roblox is here one up girls here you're not talking to yourself morning lovely donna good morning hello hello oh my gosh crazy right letter lady z is here Ooh, Sorry, I'm flipping the picture. I think I like the right side of his face better than the left side of his face. We so. have a lot of friends here this morning. I'm on a long travel back home. It's about 12 hours. That's Mud Kip. Well, we're glad you're here with us. We tonight. are. We Hopefully are. we can keep you company on your long journey back home. All First right. time catching a stream. That's Lady Zubat. Well, well, welcome, Lady Zubat. Um, let's see. Hi from Italy. That's Lucia Palumbo. Hello. Roshit says hi from India. Hello, hello. Art with M says, yes, I knew you'd do, Michael. You can't not. I mean, there's so many good bands and so many good musicians with the letter M, but you can't. Michael Jackson was the 80s. Um, Pencil sharpener. DRJNMX says... Um, Idalia went north of us. That's good. In St. Augustine. That's good. Oh, that oh, means good. it didn't hit uh, Carlos. Carlos either. Yeah, yeah. We have a friend, in, another friend in St. Augustine. So that's good news. Um, good afternoon from the Czech Republic, good from afternoon. Italy, from Spain. Hi, Scott. Love your art. Say hi to Donna for me. That's Hello. derpy freedom. Well, are hi, you guys? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. The chat is just going crazy this morning. Uh, oh, Tracy's here. Tracy KD, how are we this morning? We're, we're good. Hey. We're good. We're good. We had another good morning at the post office. So that Donna, was good. Donna and Bethany shipped out 250 58. more. 258 went out yesterday. So, yeah. I, um... It was a good we're morning. We're getting through all of them. As yeah, fast as we're we, can. we are. We've shipped over well over a thousand now, and uh, there's about twenty four hundred orders, and so we are doing our best to <clears throat> pack them and ship them every day. And uh, it's just you guys are are very very um, generous with the fact that you wanted the poster and you yeah. wanted to have a piece of Scott's art and it's wonderful. And so I'm going to be uh, forcing him, tying him to the chair today and forcing him to sign hundreds and hundreds of more posters. Um, what should I make for the, um, a dumb bee, draw a um, red, panda. red panda. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, the, what's the tea today? Oh, it's the Herod's tea and I'm only on my second cup. So I'm a little slow and I drank my first cup while driving to the post office. So bear with me. Greetings from Sri Lanka. Hi from Georgia. Hi from India. Hello. Um, hi from Japan. Hi from Connecticut, from Portugal, from the Philippines. Wow. You guys are Saudi Arabia, Puerto Rico. 
Hey, did you get Mystic Serenia? Did you get um, any of that hurricane in Puerto Rico? Are you okay? Pakistan. Um, what's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Myanmar. What? This person's from Myanmar. Oh, sorry. Could have said that all in one. I apologize. So. Sorry. Um, human nature. Um, hi from Finland. Um, let's see. Hi from France. Um, hello from Washington. It's from Slovakia, the Czech Republic. Another hi from Georgia. Hello. Can you do national fruits from around the world for the next fantastic series? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if that would hold my attention long enough. Okay. Um, your dog says, can I ask what art supplies you use to line art your drawing? My ink keeps smudging with water. It is a zebra brush pen and I get them on jetpens.com. Though you can get them on mm -hmm. Amazon or Blick. Um, they are about $2.75 and they're waterproof. Um, hey, from Australia. Hello. Kermito says, good morning. How are we holding up during the hurricane? Well, it's, it hasn't hit here. It's not supposed to either. So um, we're doing okay. We are so tired. The shipping is killing. I slept so hard last night. Scott was like, you were uh, snoring last night. I'm like, okay then. All righty then. Nixie is here. Hey, Misty. Um, so I flipped the picture. So it is this side is kind of what I'm doing. Oh, Ashley Webb says I'm in Hurricane Idalia. Uh-oh, please be safe. I've been through a couple hurricanes. They're fun. You're weird. They're fun when you're a kid and you're not responsible for anything. Exactly. Um, oh. Neurodivergent Agona says, Scott, you're so inspirational in so many ways. Like the fact that you were so kind and such an amazing artist. I really just can't thank you enough for all the things you've done for me. That is so nice of you. Thank That's you. Very kind. Very kind. I love your videos. I really needed to work on my anatomy and your advice has really helped us justice. Oh, that's great. Um, do you ship to Hong Kong? Yes. Um, okay, so I'm still getting a lot of requests for India and I thought Bethany added India. But people are saying that they checked and it's We have doesn't... not added India as of yesterday because we've been so busy shipping and it does take time to add something to the back end. Okay. So um, we will put that on the list of things we will try to get to today. I will put this caveat out there. Everything we've sent to India has come back to me. If you know you're getting a package, um, please make sure you're, however you get your mail, your, if you have a postal carrier or whatever, that you tell them I'm supposed to be getting a package from the States. I know your tariffs are really high. I'm not trying to dissuade you from ordering a poster. I would love for you to have Scott's art, but I am telling you everything that we have sent to India has come back and I would hate for you to pay money for something and have it be returned. So. Because shipping is not cheap. No, it's not cheap. Even the lower cost shipping that takes a longer time, um, which you should all know that the ground shipping that we've done with the posters, which is the included price for that, which is why there's no shipping fees and everything. We're, we're taking it on that one. That's a slower shipping. It's a ground shipping. So for the United States, the free shipping is going to be a little bit slower. So I know some people are like, where's my poster? Where's my poster? And I, I love that you're excited, but... Um, the postal service only moves so fast and I must tell you this is going to be a little secret I'm only going to share with the 344 of you that are here right now if you go to the post office right when they open in the morning which I know is not entirely possible for everyone they are so nice they Don't are give away so all of your nice. secrets hey look if I can help one person here I'm seriously you guys they are so I am three for three oh, on no. nice mornings Three for three. The guy this morning was like, good morning, how are you? And I was like, 
holy moly. I said, I'm great. Do you mind if I you leave these boxes here and here's my forms? And he's like, thanks so much. Have a great day. And I'm like, oh, I can't. I'm like, I'm in the twilight zone with the postal service. So uh, just letting you know. Um, Art with M says, hi from a vacation in New York. Ooh, I hope you're taking lots of pictures and doing lots of fun things. New York is heaven and eat bagels. Please eat some bagels. Ellen's here. Hey, Ellen. Um, Mirza Farzan, what are you asking? They want to know what is the oldest thing in your art collection? Are you asking what's the oldest piece of art that Scott's done? What's the oldest art supply? What are Or is you... it the oldest piece of art that I own? Yeah. I have some old art. Yeah, that we've bought. And actually some that we've inherited too. Oh, that's true. We have inherited art. I keep forgetting. Not from my family. Um, Steph Nerd is here and Santa is here. Hey, Steph Nerd. Hey, Santa. Hi, Santa. Hi, Steph. How's everybody doing? Scott, have you seen those dragon puppets on shorts and TikTok? Dragon puppets? No, mm -hmm. I have not. I haven't either. Um... Let's see. Um, you've helped a lot of people with their art. Why do you not use micron pens? I do. Um, I use, where's my micron? Here's, I use a 0 .005 micron pen when I need to do really, really small lines. But I like the brush pen because it lets me have different lines and variability yeah. like that and and that's why i like it bethany says i'll try to get it added today that's to india yeah no huge thing i just want to let you guys know no no we're well aware we're just also very busy um hello from serbia hope your day is going great hello that person wants Rick Ashley. I was in California when the hurricane hit, but luckily it was only light rain compared to Michigan where I'm from. Wow, yeah. That's good. Uh, Millie's art. First time I'm on a live since in five months. Wow. I'm so excited for school to start tomorrow. Scott and Donnie, you're the sweetest. You've helped me with starting with my own channel and so much more. Oh, Aww, that's, that's great. great. We're so happy. Mr. Mike Photography says, good morning from the Oregon coast. Well, good morning. Oh, I bet it's beautiful up there right now. I, we woke up this morning and it was 60 something degrees this morning. Yeah, I thought, nice. oh, please fall. Can we please have some fall? Um, Logan PW, you, you're asking what ink do you work with? What are you asking? Are you well, asking this, for the ink in the zebra brush pen that he's using right this now? This is a zebra brush pen. Um, if you're asking for like just other ink, it's usually like a Higgins Black Magic waterproof ink. Mm hmm. There's also those other colored inks that yeah, you use. Yeah, and then I, I do use the uh, Bombay Dr. Is it Dr. Dr. P. Yeah. H. Martin's um, uh, Bombay inks. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, that green blob, we did 60 days of studying the masters. And um, you can check that playlist, yeah, a playlist. out. It's because they were asking for artists around the world. And we did that, and we've done artists from tons of different countries. Um, and um, it, was it was really great. fun. It was that was my favorite series, still hands down. Out of all the stuff you've done, that was my favorite series. I loved learning about all of the masters. Mm. Um, can anyone tell me how to get the correct proportions? Uh, there is a video on that, but basically I'm just directing you to um, some books that really helped me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Julie Brennan got posters yesterday and they look so gorgeous in person. Thank you so much. Oh, oh yay. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad. Did they get there okay? Was it the tube okay? Was there any damage to the tube or anything? I'm so happy that you got them and that they're good. I'm, I'm just curious because, you know, um, yeah, just curious. Do you have your old sketchbooks like when you started art? Oh yeah, yeah. And you can see uh, a lot of that and there's a video, it's watch my art grow over 40 years. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Um, lots of people are saying hello. So hello and good morning, everybody. Hello. 
Um, Herinder Sandu, we have a playlist on the national animals. Scott did 30 days of national animals and he did a bunch of different animals and talked about fur and feathers and different things. So check out that playlist because that will um, give you some really, really good ideas. Have you read the book Steal Like an Artist? No, but I have heard of it. Yay, a dumb bee is working on the red panda. Oh, is there a... No, Scott does not is not going to do art critiques. Um, I've never liked art critiques. I just think one artist telling another artist what they did, quote unquote, wrong isn't helpful. Um, yeah. Scott never cleans his palate. Um, okay, so Yuki, the pen he's using right now is a zebra brush pen. We get it from jetpens.com and our cost in the US is about $2.65 US dollars. Um, it m might be different in another country and another other thing. I can't, I don't know um, all of the different prices in all of the different countries, so. I can't check out the Gothic Vampire in your shop. It says it doesn't ship to Hong Kong. Okay. All right. Duly noted. Thank you. I will write this down. Indian Hong. It should ship to Hong Kong. You know what? Um, They'll fix it. Yeah. We'll we'll look. Let me just write that down. We'll uh, we'll take a look. Duly noted. And thank you for bringing that up. And you should be able to because I've shipped all over the place. But, um, hold on, let me, um, check shipping, uh, in India and Hong Kong. So uh, this is all going to have to be black, which means I have got to make sure. My... Do you have enough ink? Well, I ran out of the other ink, remember? I know. That's why I'm asking if you have enough ink. Yeah, I, I will. Um, let's see. Um, love how you make your process look um, easy. Oh. Good morning from Northern California. Good morning. Um, I've just been informed that we have shipped to Hong Kong this week. So there shouldn't be a problem. Um, double Maybe check. try again. Yeah, double check what you're, what you're inputting. Um, I don't have many colors. How do you go about mixing colors? That's a good question. Um, I only use about uh, 12 colors personally. Um, so I layer my colors. I don't mix them, but I layer them. And uh, But if you're using something like wash, it's, it's good to mix them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like to, to layer my colors with watercolor. But really... Um, what what I did was I would start off with a set and then I would go gosh I really wish there was a color between this and this and then I would go to the art store and I would find that color and that's how I came up with my colors so this is the paintbrush I used last time with the ink and I never washed it so it's like crusty solid. so Great. I'm gonna find another one why don't you throw that one away if it's crusty that's all right, let me see some of this. Let's see, is this... Wait a minute, is that a really good brush that you're going to use with that black ink? No, I'm using the old ones. Oh, okay, good. This one's waterproof, Ooh. too. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Um, hi, how are you guys? That's Malinka. I am good, thank you. Let me um, shake it. Should I shake it? Does ink need to be shaked? Shooken. Shaken. Shaken. Good grief. Do you see what I have to listen to? His grammar. Oh my God. And do you know it took me 30 years to get him to stop writing a lot? A L O T. It's A space lot. God help me. I am shooketh. You're killing me, Saba. You're killing me. Wow. Okay. Um, in the middle of painting Petunia the Fat Lady, Donna totally didn't sway my choice on who to paint on the Kenny Loggins Live. Uh, Aw, <laughs> yay. I want to see it. I'm so excited. Um, oh boy. Jane Says is asking, says, good morning, Scott and Donna. Are there any plans to do a 90s or 70s musician series after the 80s series is done? No plans currently, um, though I was sitting in bed thinking about 70s. I was like, A for ABBA, B for Bee Gees. 
What's your most favorite painting that you've made? Uh, probably the um, Animal Crackers movie poster. The, How do you the... clean those hardened brushes that you use? Um, he doesn't. I don't know. He's not going to clean it. It's not going to happen. And for the person, I saw somebody requesting, how do you clean oil paints off of brushes? Bethany Primrose has an oil tutorial on how to clean brushes with oil paint in them. Um, so can you, um, hey, Bethany, post into Emery um, Lilia and um, put your link in for your clean your paintbrushes with oil. Pretty please and thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, if you do oil paints, Emery, and you haven't subscribed to Bethany's channel, you should because she's um, got a ton of oil content on there and she's posting more. Um, what size is the pen you used previously? Uh, it is the very fine one. Yeah, the very fine zebra brush pen. Oh, uh, hint, if you're going to learn from Bethany how to clean your brushes, you must like the taste of oil paints. No, that is not true. She doesn't put them in her mouth anymore. <laughs> now you shush. Um, Obsessed Life says, I'm an autistic artist too. Do you ever use your good and bad experiences as an autistic artist for inspiration? Well, I, if I did, I did it... Uh, subconsciously because I've only was diagnosed uh, last year mm -hmm. and so I'm trying to dis you know trying to discern now a lifetime of habits and quirks and find out how much of that is autism and how much of that is just me being a weird person and things like that so I, I can't speak from the experience of oh this is something i and other autistic people do and i do this because i'm autistic i i just i don't know enough so i'm still learning a lot about it um okay we are doing fine today um have you tried liquid watercolor oh yeah yeah i have um concentrated watercolor that i use uh a, a, not i wouldn't say a lot but i like to use it for like backgrounds and stuff like that because it's very very uh potent so i use the doc martens and there's a video on it too so I, i'm gonna be honest whenever i use ink like this i am so worried that it's gonna bleed through to the other page okay um did you try drawing ink monsters again no but i i um am I know Kim took took like a month off, and mm -hmm. so we'll we'll try to do that again. Blow dryer. Okay, you're gonna have to wait a minute here. Okay, there are, you guys are. There's so many questions today. All right, so um, Scott has used some liquid watercolors, um, and okay, as far as all of the art supplies that he uses, go to the um, S Sava Art Channel, the the website. You will find a list of all of the um, supplies that Scott uses and also all of the supplies that we've tried. If you are interested, there was a person who was interested in um, learning about how to work with alcohol markers. Oh, I'm begging you to not spill that. I don't think this is waterproof. Um, I would like to... Um, Okay, I totally lost what I was saying because you pulled the bottle out and you scared me to death. Um, what were they asking? I can't remember. Anyway, um, oh, alcohol markers. Um, there is a whole alcohol marker playlist and you can watch how Scott does um, works with alcohol markers. Um, Ryan says, go clean your brush now. We'll wait. He's still not going to clean the brush. Um, this says non-waterproof. Okay. This one says waterproof. And this one is Kay. waterproof. So this um, is the one that I just... Okay, so this is Higgins Black India ink. Um, the Higgins Black Magic. Both of them are waterproof, I think. But I want to try to see... Because do you notice... How, see how this is kind of gray? Mm -hmm. It's not really that black. So I'm going to yeah. open this one up. Somebody did ask, how did you get the shirt darker than the hair? I think it was just more ink on the brush, but let me try the the black magic and see if it's any darker. It does say waterproof. Okay. 
Not okay. that the not that yesterday's or uh, Monday's. Oh, Gail sent you a tip and said I grew up listening to Michael Jackson, so thank you for using him as M today. Ugh, thank you, Gail. She says it's looking great so far. High mods. All right, we're gonna just do that okay. much and see. I'm gonna blow dry this, okay? All right, hang on a second here. <sighs> Okay, so th there's a lot of you here today and I'm gonna just go through some basic stuff. Scott's got a lot of playlists. Playlists. There's an art hacks playlist. There's playlists about drawing people. There's um, a also a list on our website of all the supplies that he uses. There's a list of supplies that we've tried, which is rather extensive. There's, there's lists on um, markers, there's mm -hmm. some on colored <clears throat> colored pencils. Correct. So if you're looking for specifics on that, because there are a lot of people here. Um, so check those out because we're not going to be able to um, to answer all of these questions today because they just keep flying by. Scott um, tried a glass dip pen. He doesn't like the glass dip pen. He's never going to make the Marauders map. He doesn't like to do stuff that's that detailed. I did unmute him. He, he is good. He's just not talking right this second. Anything that you want to draw, I'm going to say draw a red panda. If you have suggestions, um, he has done, we, this is M for the 80s alphabet of the music. Okay, so he's doing Michael Jackson for M. So A through L is already up. Those are videos. There is a long video. You can watch the lives under the live playlist. There's also shorts that follow up on that for every letter. There's so you can check too. those. Yes, and there's a playlist for that. Um, Okay. Wow. Um, Scott's been bald for a long time, but I think he's incredibly handsome. Um, there are tons of brands of markers um, that we've tried and he has done pencil art. There is um, art on there as well for that on graphite. So look at that. Um, he went to art school at Academy of Art in San Francisco um, way back in the 80s and 90s. All right, I think I have covered a lot of nice the most job. generic right. stuff. Now I'm Go also going to tell you, hold on. I'm also going to tell you he is never going to see any of your suggestions here on this chat. He cannot read the chat and do um, art at the same time. So I'm reading him the questions. So you need to put your suggestions for the next letter, which is N, after this becomes a video. Um, but he will not see any suggestions that you're writing today and I won't read them out because um, that would get there's very other old very quick. Well, there's other questions that people want. Um, do you have any tips for drawing with colored pencils? Um, yeah, just for me, I always push down very hard. So you're going to layer them up. Um, but I start with mid tones, come into the shadows and then finish off with the highlights. Um, have you ever, yeah, he used to do commissions, but they are closed presently. There is a tutorial on drawing lips and eyes and other parts of the faces. So check in the art hacks playlist. Yeah. And I also made just a big that. video with all of that. Yes, he did. Last Saturday. So you can check that out. Um, do you know who Demon Slayer is? I do not. Um, Scott, the Spider-Verse movie is on Prime. Have you watched it? No, no, I haven't. Um, if you give him a couple of minutes, you'll be able to see the neck shadows. Um, Scott uses uh, Windsor and Newton watercolors. Are Windsor and Newton watercolors worth their price? I think so. I mean, because um, like these are just like a little dab, like a little tiny bit of the, the, the paint tube. And this will last me of painting every single day. It'll last mm -hmm. me at least a couple weeks. And so I probably don't replace a whole tube. And I'm someone who literally is painting every day. I probably don't replace a tube maybe once a year. So I'm spending maybe seven, eight dollars on a tube of paint that lasts me a year. And I think that's a great deal for the amount that I paint. Yeah. That's a really good deal. And they're very, very light fast, which means that they will last a very long time. Okay, so anything you're gonna ask me to draw, I'm gonna say draw a red panda. 
How do you get your proportions so right? I don't. I, I, um, all I see is all the stuff wrong with it. Like my likeness is like, oh God, that doesn't look like this person. Or oh, the, the head's too small. Or oh, this arm's too long. Or I do all of the same stuff you do. It's just, we are um, at different places in our art journey. So my mistakes are a little smaller than your mistakes at this point. That's all it is. But I, but there's always still mistakes. There's always still things that are come off. What I think the difference is, is as you get older as an artist, you start to embrace the mistakes and they become just part of your art. And you go, you know what? Because I'm not going for perfection. I'm not going for hyper realism. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to embrace it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we always want it to be as good as possible. Mm -hmm. But it's just, you're just in that journey. You're just at an earlier stage than I am. Um, I do journaling on my channel, not art. Um, if you watch for a little bit longer, you will see Scott do the neck shadows. Some of his bracelets, yes, they are real leather and they were collected on trips from places that there's a video on it from about mm -hmm. maybe three weeks ago mm -hmm. all right here we go how often do you study proportions um i think anytime i'm drawing somebody i'm studying proportions what was your favorite michael jackson album um i I want to say bad, but it's funny because I, I remember actually Dangerous being one that I listened to a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, I never had Thriller. I had Thriller. Or Off the Wall. I mean, I have the, the, the album Off the Wall now, mm -hmm. but I just... I had Thriller on tape. You had Thriller on tape? Mm -hmm. On cassette tape, yeah. Um, do you use liquid watercolor paints? I do from time to time. Uh, but mostly just for background colors because they're very uh, vibrant, very saturated. How do you get a perfect sketch in all of your lives? I don't. Yeah, they're not perfect. Yeah, I don't. And I forgot yeah. to water it down again. Of so. course you did because I didn't remember. All right, blow dryer. How often do you study proportions? You don't study proportions. He'll trace a lot of times to get things correct. And he's also had 54 years of practice, so. Santa says the music just got real. What's about to happen? It's the Orient Express. Um soundtrack sorry about that yeah um i'm gonna have to think about that millie um, let's see um rocket loves your videos and was one of your first subscribers um okay Kishomp, you keep asking about neck shadows if you watch scott will do shadows in this if you guys watch um, he, <clears throat> he's going to do the shadows. I'm just saying a lot of people keep asking about it. I only hear music when I drop a cookie in slow motion, says Santa. <laughs> did you know that yesterday was Michael Jackson's birthday? Please um, talk about what colors you're using for the skin tones. Oh, crap, you're muted. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Steph Nerd. This is Windsor Orange. And I'm trying to do a technique that is a little better for people with darker skin. So I usually my next color would be um, Rose Matter, but I, my second color is going to be Burnt Sienna. So but I'll do two layers of this. Okay. And then uh, two layers of burnt sienna. And then my shadows will be uh, Windsor Violet. Okay. 
Um. Okay. Oh, Emma's here. Oh, she's late because she had car trouble. I'm sorry, uh -huh. honey. Car trouble is no fun. Okay. All, All right. right. Blow dryer. Blow dryer. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. All right. Um, <laughs> Noah, I did my uh, my stuff. You're on your you own writing a paper. Okay? Yes, we can see okay. that. Okay. So this is Howard Jones, British guy, right? This is uh, Steve Perry. Um, and then this is what I did on Monday, Lionel Richie. And this, now, if you look at Slash, who's half black, yep. uh, I did the same as I did with Howard Jones and Steve Perry, but then I went over it with Burt Sienna. And what happened was I lost all of these lines. These, um, you know, I dried it and then I came in with another layer. Mm -hmm. So on Monday, I tried something different. And instead of going in with the rose matter with the pink, I came in with Burnt Sienna. And, and there's so there's that first pass of Windsor Orange, second pass of Windsor Orange, first pass of Burnt Sienna, second pass of Burnt Sienna. And then this is Windsor Violet on top of the Burnt Sienna. And I think this will be a better representation of skin color of people with darker skin mm -hmm. than yeah. going over it with a Burnt Sienna. And so that's what I'm trying to do. But the other thing I'm noticing, and, and, and it seemed like Lionel Richie was a lighter skinned, um, and I know Michael Jackson's skin was lighter here too, but I'm going to try to bring in the, the Burnt Sienna a little sooner. So I'm making the parts with the uh, really light Windsor Orange mm -hmm. smaller. And so, and again, I'm just experimenting as I'm right. going, I'm learning as I'm going. And, but I just figured I'd at least explain what I'm thinking and what I'm attempting. Uh, so that way you guys can follow along. Okay, guys. Um, Rod Line just sent you a tip. You're starting oh, something. You, you got to be starting something. That's <laughs> so funny. All right, guys. There are 500 of you here, and we are not going to get to every single question. So I apologize for that ahead of time. And I'm excited that you're here. But, Hello, everybody. Yeah, and but you're going to have to bear with us. And if the mods answer a question for you, that is because they know us. They're our friends. And they um, they know the answer to the question. So um, I'm and just going to... love you too. Right. And I'm just going to go with that. Um, we do know Echo and the Bunnymen. Um, are we going to make stickers out of this series? No, but I... I mean, I, I won't say no, like, definitively, but... Um... I know we're definitely gonna do a poster, so I'm gonna collect it as a poster. And since today is officially the halfway point, I might actually start on the poster, so that way you guys could see what it's gonna look like. Um, I think we might be able to do stickers of it because they would be individual. We could do them something very similar to the hair gel. Yeah, the problem that I found with stuff like that is that I mean, there's gonna be 26 of these. Mm -hmm. Is that they are? They would be um, very small. Yeah, they I, gotta fit them on a um, on a sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Broadline sent you another tip and said, "Bring back French peg rolled pants." Yeah. <laughs> um, and side ponytails, right? Someone had um, asked uh, on that picture that I posted in the community section of me at the Academy of Art. Mm -hmm. They asked why my pants weren't pegged. And I said, I think by 1988, it wasn't in style anymore. That's such a cute picture of you. But you know what's funny is there people were asking about the... Um, I was wearing bracelets then too. Were you? Yeah. And they said, where'd you guys? I think Donna gave them to me. 
It was the green one oh, with the little clips. Oh, you're right. I think I did give those to you. Oh, remember that was when those those like um, ID bracelets were popular, and I know you had one of those. Yeah, I don't think I, gave I was it wearing you. it at the time. Oh, yeah. Interesting. All right. Um, we will take under advisement that you guys want stickers. How's that? Um, let's see. Um, where can I buy the, um, which posters are you asking about? We're not, this isn't a poster yet. Um, it will be. Blow dryer. But yeah, but, um, the, um, Gothic vampire is on our website. Henry, there is a list under our resources page on our website of books that Scott recommends to help you with your art, books that he's used. Right. If you only have to paint with um, using different shades of only one color, what color would you choose? Paint's gray. Um, I do enjoy being in the Hobbit hole with Scott when he's painting. Um, sometimes I journal, sometimes I read, sometimes I do my art journal. I do like being here. Um, let's see. When your color skin tones, do you take undertones into account? Um, I do when I'm doing gouache. This, I think I'm trying something a little more stylistic. So I'm being a little more artsy fartsy with it than I am realistic. Um, we'll let you know if it's going to end up being a poster. Um, what? Derpy says they're not going to order the um, Gothic vampire if this is going to be a poster instead. Oh, it will be a poster. Um, what type of paint is the best for art? The type of paint that you want to paint. Yeah, there's no right or wrong. Mm -mm. Um, it's really what I would recommend would be to look at the art that you like and then copy that. Use like, okay, these people are doing oils. These people are doing watercolors. These people are digital. And then do that. That's the best way I, I would say to do it. What's the single best art supply you have used? Um, I like my Be Creative sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Blow dryer. Um, there's a tutorial on mouths, not necessarily teeth, but teeth are a part of that. So you can check that in the Art Hacks playlist. <sighs> um, we're not going to do shout outs today. There's a lot of good questions here. We are just flying through this. All today. right. Um, um, someone okay. wanted uh, neck shadows. Yes, neck shadows. And talk about what color you're going to use for that because people are wanting to know what colors you're using. The, again, so far it's only been Windsor Orange and um, Burnt Sienna. Now I'm using Windsor Violet. Okay. And that I'm going to use for Which my... is a purplish tone for the yeah. shadows. This is my shadows. Scott's been drawing since he was about six or seven. Um, what color do you plan on using for the lips? Uh, probably the rose matter with some Windsor violet on top of it. Does art help you in other areas of your life? Yeah. I mean, it. it I, I like... It helps me with anxiety. It helps me when I'm traveling. It helps me if I'm overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, it definitely helps me in a lot of places. Ellen's here. 
Mm, we see. do not do, uh, Scott does not do abstract art. Not intentionally. Mm -mm. Um, he does not know who he's going to do tomorrow until tomorrow, or, I mean Friday, until five minutes before we start usually. Um, we can't really, what? okay, so. Blow dry. All of the art supplies that Scott uses are in his art supply list. And if you click on those links, you will find out all of the prices and where he gets them from. The majority of the watercolors come from a company called Blick. And you can find them there. There's links to where you can buy them. Some of the things that he uses, you can find on um, Amazon. But a lot of it comes from an art store. So you can try that. You will also find all of the colors he uses in his color palette there. And that should help you kind of understand like what Scott's doing at that particular point in time, what he's using. But all of his supplies are there and all the supplies we've tried are in the resources list. So you can check that out as well. That pink was just did not want to dry. So I just no. blew it off. Do you guys think that people have to like their art? Um, I think you no. do have to you... learn to like your art. I think you have to learn to accept it from for where you are in your journey. That's a hard yeah. one for artists to to do. It's been hard for me too. Um, You've been very critical of yourself. You are your own yeah, worst yeah, critic. Yeah, I am my worst critic. Yeah, he and, is. And Hands down. I'm, I'm learning to accept my art. And that is a tough thing to do. Um, what brand of watercolor would you recommend for beginners? Oh, you can use any any brand for beginners. You can use Crayola, you know. Um, it's just going to, it's not going to be very permanent. But when you're a beginner, you don't want your work to be permanent. Right. It's the paper that you really want to get better paper. Blow dryer. Are you using textured paper for your drawings? Okay, Scott does get art block. There is a video on how he deals with art block. Uh, unmute. Thank you. Um, right now he's using hot press paper, which is not a textured paper. Yeah, normally I like cold press uh, watercolor paper. Miranda, we did review a bunch of cheaper art supplies. If you go to the products we've tested section of the website, you will see... Um, yeah, I do a lot of cheaper yep, art materials. There are so many cheaper art materials. Um, who are your biggest artistic influences? Uh, there's Drew Struzan, John Buscema, Alphonse Mucha, J.C. Leyendecker, mm -hmm. Barry Windsor Smith. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of... What is the most impressive art piece you've ever seen? Spring by Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. Um, all right. Hang on a second here. Um, what is the best brand of pencil? Oh, I, I don't really have a favorite. I'll use anything. Yeah. But you do use, when you're doing your sketches, a 4H pencil, correct? Yeah, but I don't care about the brand. Exactly. I'm just saying, you know, um, just a harder pencil for his sketches. Um, he doesn't know who he's doing for any letter past where we are right now today. How is your health going? It's going okay. It's going okay. I um, am working hard at getting mm -hmm. to be the best me. The music in the background is a soundtrack from the Orient Express. Oh, Eric is here. Hey, Erica. She's at work and checking in. Morning. Um... What is your least favorite art that you've done? <laughs> There's a corner it's, in our office called the corner of shame. That is not my least. Anything that is my least favorite is, is in the dead trash. To me. I, I will <laughs> never think of it again. Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven years old, and he comes from a family of very artistic people. Blow dryer. Hold on. Okay. Pat 
Penny, for your thoughts on the art of Dr. Seuss. And blow dryer. Good. I think it is wonderful, whimsical. Not my personal favorite, but uh, you gotta love Dr. Seuss. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your opinion on Sam Does Art? Oh, I love him. Love him. And uh, looking forward to hopefully collaborating with him soon. Which company would you recommend to buy paper from? Uh, again, I like to be creative. Um, if you're on a really tight budget, you can go with Canson. The music in the background is from the Orient Express. We got a deal with Sony who did our soundtrack to let us play music in the background. So this is the soundtrack from the Orient Express, and thank you to Sony for letting us um, And there's a link this. in, in uh, the descriptions whenever you guys... Yeah, there you go. You know, uh, when this video is done, if you go to the description, you'll see uh, there's links in all of them. Um, I'm waiting for the Gothic Vampire puzzle. That, yeah, I am supposed to get the uh, first test sample uh, from... Uh, Christina, soon. Um, and I hate to tell you, but the the puzzles were shiny too. This brazen, uh, this is brazen spirituality. They're not a fan of the shiny paper chosen for the poster, um, um, because they have a lot of lights in their studio, uh, okay. um, which totally makes sense. But the po the puzzle is going to be shiny too, just for the record, because of the puzzles that she's done are shiny. So. Um, He's going to figure out N literally the day we're doing N. So I have no idea. Um, Scott does play music when he is drawing in the Hobbit hole. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I've been listening to a lot of Seal and uh, Stereophonics, Keen, and of course, like 80s music, which, um, you know, you can see a lot of that on... Um, on our website, there's uh, some links to the playlists. What's the best soundtrack you guys have heard? The Animal Cracker soundtrack by Bear McCurry. Correct. 100%. Anne Marie's here. Um, yes, copyright issues with that. That's why. We asked Sony if we could have music for the lives, and we took what they gave us, and this is what they gave us. So there you go. When you're dealing with large companies, you're just grateful that they, as a they very let me small pick. It's just it's uh, Yeah. Well they gave you a list to pick yeah, from. Yeah, exactly. So and they, they, they gave they us a list. They sent us uh, a bunch of uh, LPs, which mm -hmm. is great because I wanted to play them on uh, the record player that uh, YouTube gave me. Correct. The problem is that when I did it came out very muted like I think the um, It was hard the, to hear in the background. Yeah, I think the webcam is like muting background noise mm -hmm. and I don't know mm -hmm. how to get rid of that yeah. so um, that's why we're playing it through the yeah. the digital thing um, Scott does not play any instruments I'm not sure I like this red um, why is he so orange he's not he's uh, that's that's a uh, Windsor Brown um but just for reference, I did make him darker than um, he was in the mm -hmm. thing. But I'm trying a different this style. This is a Let's... style, so um, it's very stylized. Um, have you ever tried to play an instrument? Yeah, I tried piano and guitar. What's your least favorite music style? It's either classical or country. Um, can we share our art pieces with you? Yes, we have a Discord and you can um, share art on there. That's the best way to do it. If you're going to try to share with us on social media, you have to tag Scott or he will not see it. What's your favorite video game? Uh, currently, it's it's um, Zelda. Have you tried working on Strathmore's toned paper, gray, tan, or blue, or perhaps, perhaps working on a tinted gesso-based layer? Um... Yes, on I've, the been, side. I've been doing that with the Music Monday uh, and the Black History Month. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Strathmore tanned paper. Which I love. I think it's fantastic.
but I don't like their watercolor paper. Have you ever, do you ever make mistakes on art? And if yes, how do you fix it? Uh, there's a video on that. Um, I fix it with uh, gouache when I'm doing something like this. All right, let's just see if it gets any better once I add the outline. Okay. Um, let's see, have you tried, he has tried Copic markers. We go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Central Time. I love red pandas because they're so stinking adorable. Oh, um, you gotta love Charlie. Oh my God. Okay, Charlie like crawled on my arm. He, the prehensile tailed porcupine. He like was crawling on my arm and sniffing me and everything. Oh my God, so cute. Have you played Zelda Breath of the Wild? Oh yeah, I'm on Tears of the Kingdom right now. But yeah, I, I played Breath of the Wild. Loved it. Do you have any recommendations for cheap but good watercolors? Um, gosh, I really liked the Mia watercolors. Yeah, but they were uh, sold out. They're sold out. Uh, Grabby has good cheap watercolors. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we may be doing another set with them, but we'll see. Um, talk about what brand your white pen is. This is the um, Uniball. Uniball Signal. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I, you know, I noticed that it goes on so much smoother over the India ink than it does over the concentrated watercolors or just watercolors in general. Really? Yeah. Look, I haven't had a single problem yeah. with it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. A lot of people want to know what your favorite Michael Jackson song is. Uh, Human Nature. Um, Charlie's nose looked like the softest velvet. It was so soft. It, uh, it was so, so soft. So Cameron, oh one of the one of the keepers, the handlers, yeah, yeah. Cameron said it felt like um, a toasted marshmallow. Yeah, and it and it kind of does. Yeah, yeah. It's a little warm. Santa says, "Love this series." Thanks for being here, Thank Santa. Thank you, Santa. Oh, and by the way, Santa's going to go live uh, tomorrow. Santa's doing Tuesday and Thursday lives now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yep. He's going to do um, Christmas characters tomorrow. Um, how can I improve my art? Ollie would like to know. Uh, draw everything every day. And there's mm -hmm. a video and a playlist for that. Mm -hmm. Draw, if you're going out somewhere, draw everything that you see. Take yeah. a little sketchbook with Stop you. Stop drawing out of your head. Not mm -hmm. that there's anything wrong with it, but if you want to improve, start drawing what you see. Yep. Yep. Um, what is your biggest art goal? Um, to be happy with my work. Yep. Um... All right. All right, I think I'm done. Okay. Um, Gosh, it's not even 10 o'clock. Really? I'm getting much quicker at these, aren't I? You really are. Have you tried Posca pens? And if not, are you interested in trying them? And if you have, do you like them? Uh, I have. Uh, there's a couple of videos on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the shaky, shaky, shaky. I don't like the uh, solid tips. Um, I prefer the uh, the Artex acrylic markers because they have a brush tip. One mm -hmm. Up Girl says the Okuhu watercolor set that comes with brushes and a sketchbook is a really good one too. Oh, nice. And yeah, and One Up Girls tried the Okuhu watercolors and enjoys them. If okay. I'm in, if I'm incorrect in that, let me know. But um, I believe you said you did really like them. Um, The rules channel has been inaccessible to me for days. Is that just me? Okay, so here's the deal. Um, our mods that are on here also um, mod our Discord. And um, Bethany Primrose is primarily the one who handles opening up the rules channel. It It is open for a very short period of time. The reason why you may not be in there at that same time that, that they are in there, that the mods are in there, um, is just because they can't be opening the rules channel all day, every day. We just maybe, can't. Maybe we can make an announcement of when they'll be open. Um, okay, we'll uh, we'll talk about a time that would be good to be open, and yeah. we'll announce it on Friday. Okay, um, so maybe this weekend we'll have some time where it'll be open and you can join at that point. But we've been shipping. Um, we do ship to other countries. We don't ship the stickers here from our Hobbit Hole. 
Um, those are shipped by another company, um, Crowdmade, that does those for us. Um, the posters are coming from here. And um, bear with us because we have um, four hands between the two of us and Scott's hands are signing posters. So things are... And making videos every day. Correct. <laughs> so so we, are getting, um, we are getting as many out a day as we possibly can. Um, it does take time. We hand roll every single poster. Scott hand signs every single poster. So, um, yeah, so there you go. That's my, that's my two cents in the world. We do appreciate all of your orders and we are still, uh, believe it or not, still shocked that, um, so many of you were interested in having a piece of Scott's art. Um, absolutely shocked. So, um, but there you go. So, okay. So real quick, since we're early. Yeah, go for it. We are talking about the Gothic vampire posters, the Gothic vampire piece of art that Scott did. <coughs> we made posters of, and we've been uh, selling those on our uh, store. And um, we are shipping those here from um, the Hobbit Hole. So. Uh, we did meet Stanley at the zoo. When you slice art out of the book, it's so satisfying. Yeah. So, this is, just so you guys could see some of the, this was one of my first watercolor paintings from 2012. So this was 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you could see I was just blending everything very smoothly, right? And this was um, from the last year's, or two years ago, from the... Um, uh, studying the Masters. Studying the Masters. Mm -hmm. uh, this was... Oh, have you considered making these into bookmarks? I was talking about making these into bookmarks. I think it would be great. I would have to make 26 of them. So that's all I'm saying is... Know. You know, um, this was from a couple years ago as well. Yeah, Again, the clock's you could... not going to chime today. Somebody asked about the clock. Oh, sorry. It's yeah, not I, working. I He's got to wind, it up. wind the clock. So you can see I'm starting to get a little looser with my watercolors. You could see it a little bit more here where I'm leaving that just blotch. And, and, and I felt like this was at least... I wasn't trying for like realism and getting all of these. I think this is very boring. Whereas I think that is very interesting to look at. And so this is me going, hmm, I think I might like this. This is just, I'm showing you the process. It's the evolution of, how of your I'm, Yeah, how I'm going. Look at that. I just went blot with some, with some pink. I didn't try to blend it. I just left. I'm getting a little blotchier. Um, this was this year's. Um, again, I'm doing those little lines, very subtle. This is on Arch's paper, so it's very textured. Mm -hmm. um, this was earlier this year too. Again, you could see the very, very, just the lines, but I'm not trying to blend them. And so this is kind of the progression of going, and I think it's always good for artists to, to see how far they can push it. And then once they go, this is too, too much, take a step back maybe. Yeah. Um, and, and I don't know if this is too much. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I think it's a fun experiment. Um, I might get bored of it by the time I get to the letter Z and then go yeah. back to something a little bit more like, you Do know. you have an art pet peeve? In myself? Um, no, I mean, I, I, gosh, an art pet peeve. Okay, an art pet peeve I think would be Every time I use a colored pencil, the, the tip breaks up a Prisma color pencil. Oh, that drives you crazy. Yeah. That drives me crazy too. Because then so, you have to hit the thing. Yeah. Um, somebody asked before, would you do more Octavia in October? If I could come up with some good ideas, maybe. And maybe, maybe what we'll do is um, maybe we'll come up with... Uh, like uh, uh, on the Discord or, or in the community section of the YouTube channel, we'll sit down and um, say, okay, let's throw out some ideas. And if some of them really jump at me, then yeah, sure. 
but I think we are done. Okay, we're gonna go um, ship. So that's what we're doing. Um, and Thank I need you guys for hanging out with us. Yes. I hope you liked it. Um, if I can't get better at art, is it okay to give up? Oh, it's, it's always okay to give up. If you're not happy with it, if you're not happy making art, why would you be doing that? Yeah. You know, I could understand if, you know, like you make art and and, and, it, and it benefits you financially. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, you could do it even though you don't like it. But um, art, there's no other reason to make art than because it makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Because... Money's not really there, you know. Mrs. Claus is here. Hi, Mrs. Claus. Good morning, Mrs. Claus. She says, love the paintings and appreciate the explanations. Oh, we are sending you big hugs all the way up to the North Pole. All right. Um, Bethany says, on my way to your house. That's a little scary. Um, Bethany's. Oh, Mrs. Claus also says, hope you all have a great day. Oh, we hope you have you. a great day, too. Don't bake too many cookies. Save some for Christmas. Who am I kidding? Bake all the cookies. <laughs> all right, everybody. We are going to let you go today early. I have to sit Scott down in a chair and force him to sign more posters. And then um, I have to make more tea because Lord knows the posters are not going to get out without some tea. So, um, and they're, we were just discussing how they yep. break, weren't we? Um. So um, we will talk to See you, you on guys. Friday for the letter N. Yes, and no, we do not know what he's going to do yet. And no, Nirvana wasn't around then. Mm -mm -mm, it was not. Sorry, guys. That's Nirvana's 90s. So um, is it New Order, maybe? I, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for being here. We love you guys very much. We appreciate you. I hope it wasn't too crazy of a day. I hope you got most of your questions answered. Check out the Art Hacks playlist. Check out the resources list for all the art supplies that Scott uses and also for supplies that we've tried. Um, and we will talk to you guys on Friday. Bye. Bye-bye.